Hey guys, Car Vlog. Should you learn Vue.js or React.js? I'll get to the point quickly. If I had to choose one or the other, and I had and I had no specific job in line, something where I needed to learn React or I needed to learn Vue, just in of themselves, in terms of which technology I would learn, I would go with Vue.js. Why? Because it's uh, well, number one reason, it's very popular, and number two, it's easier to learn than React. And the reason I emphasize that, the easiness, the ease of learning it and using it, is, uh, is a big thing to consider because, in my experience, when you have two technologies and one is easier to use and significantly easier to use, and apparently Vue is, that's the one that's going to win in the end. Now, I'm not saying that React is going away. Not at all. But I think given the fact that Vue is uh, easier to learn and it's extremely capable, you're going to see more and more people using Vue.js. So if I were you and you weren't, again, you didn't have any particular project in mind or coming down the pipeline, that required React.js, I would definitely be going towards Vue.js. This brings me to another one of my basic core principles when it comes to programming. In software development, there's a tendency amongst the nerds over time to add extra complexity to things. In an, in an honest attempt, they're doing this, adding this complexity, they're doing this in an honest attempt to try to make software development easier. The problem is when you have really complex systems, we have more and more complex libraries, more and more complex code, obviously you're doing the opposite of that. And I've seen that before on several occasions. The biggest for me was Java back in the 1990s, early 2000s. Java got extremely complex the specification was tremendous, 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 tremendously complex. And there was a big revolt, and it shifted away from the official specification towards something that the community developed, which was much easier uh, in comparison. That being said, Java is still, in many ways, unnecessarily complex uh, for most jobs out there. Not all jobs, but most jobs. Uh, that people have moved into more lighter, nimbler languages like JavaScript, like PHP, like uh, Python, etc. Now, here's the thing. JavaScript now, and I think I'll, I'll get into the meat of this in another vlog, it's getting, in, uh, it's getting into that territory where they're starting to add more complexity, um, perhaps unnecessarily. So uh, I'm hearing that React-based apps can become really complex. Now, what I think might end up happening with React is that it's going to be used in larger projects only uh, for small, medium-sized projects, which are 99% of projects. People are going to start looking at simpler libraries, simpler frameworks. Vue.js comes to mind. And I'll leave you with this last tip. When you're evaluating technologies, always look at the core tech, not the libraries. Typically, not typically, always, it's the core languages that will survive over time and libraries will, be, will disappear. This is common, happens all the time. I'll give you some examples. Back in uh, the 90s, early 2000s, we had all kinds of Java frameworks, MVC frameworks. A whole bunch of them have now died away. Struts, Velocity, Web Objects, Tapestry. These are all frameworks at one time or another were very big or pretty big in the Java community. And the people who were behind these frameworks, of course, and people who use these frameworks were saying, oh, they're the greatest ever. They're the greatest ever. They're bye-bye, gone. You don't see them anymore. Of course, Java is still around, right? So when you're investing your time into developing your coding skills, again, always, I always emphasize the core, the foundation, the foundations, because they, these skills, this technology is evergreen, meaning it will last for the longest time. JavaScript has been around for 25 years, 20, 25 years. It's still around. 
It's still around, well, 1995, so you do the math. It's still around today, but a lot of uh, Java too, a lot of Java is still around today. A lot of those frameworks have disappeared. So you're going to see the same thing in the JavaScript world. Concentrate on the core of the JavaScript. They call it vanilla JavaScript these days. That's what you want to concentrate on. The library should be secondary in terms of your considerations because libraries will come and go. Look at jQuery. jQuery a few years ago was, was the king. jQuery, everybody did jQuery. Everybody, a lot of people were just doing jQuery, not even learning JavaScript. And uh, look at jQuery now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's still used, but for new projects, people will not really use jQuery. They're going to look at newer libraries like, like Vue.js, like React, Angular. For me, I think, given what I'm hearing and using my old nerd experience, I think if you're going to learn any JavaScript framework, use Vue, learn Vue in terms of client-side frameworks. And uh, But again, emphasis is on core programming techniques, the fundamentals. Those are the things you should concentrate on because what's going to make you a great developer is not if you know this framework or that framework or if you know 10 frameworks what's going to, or libraries. What's going to make you a great programmer is that you have a really good understanding of programming. You have a really good understanding of those fundamentals. So uh, take it from me. I've been at this game since 1994. I've seen this thing, these patterns play out over and over again. So back to React versus Vue. I would stress Vue now because it's simpler and from my experience, simple technology that's effective will always beat complex technology. That's it. I hope this is useful. Bye-bye. Well, before I close this out, you probably notice I'm doing a little bit more entrepreneur-specific vlogs. Why? Because I think that if you are a developer, whether you work for a company or especially if you're freelancing, it's good to understand the business end of things so you can understand how clients think about projects and products and so forth. This will actually make you a better developer because you're going to understand what the client actually wants, the business owner actually wants. And, of course, if you're going into freelancing or if you want to start your own product based on technology or not, of course, those type of entrepreneur business related discussions are going to be useful to you. Let me know what you think about that. I'm actually thinking of coming out with a new vlogging and um, podcast series, if you will, where I'm going to talk about business and business tech news that comes out. I don't know if I'll do it twice a week or three times a week. I'm not sure. Short videos and podcasts where I look at the latest news about a particular technology and uh, or, or just in the business world in general related to technology. And I'll give you my uh, take on it based on my experience, you know, or last two decades of software development and almost three decades. Can you, I can imagine. I'm unbelievable. 29 years since I started my first business. Let me know what you're thinking about that idea. A tech news vlog podcast. Quick commentaries. I don't know, 10 minutes each. I just look at the day's news and I give you my two cents. All right. We'll talk soon.